across mid, three towards top banana, and well, Tyloo are coming. Oh, there's no doubt that Asian CS has the best names, but struggling in game. Attacker with one, but the rest fall by the wayside. They just threw bodies up banana, and look at their health. Good God. You've just been left. 1 minute 30 with nothing, a grand total of nothing. Yeah, it's not great either to, to be seeing them missing the half wall flash so early as well. Uh, those little details are things that are going to be integral as uh, we move through this map right here. But still have a smoke to work with right now. They can lob that one over and link the CT with the coffins. But it should just be a stiff breeze here and they'll be getting bowled on out of this one's down. Blocks the smoke. Three players linger over towards this bomb site here for Heroic. Creeping on in. Summer grabs one, but the trade is there, and it will just be somebody here not long for this world. Refresh will finish him off, and there you have it. One to zero, the start for Heroic. Just how quick they're able to react. That's one of the questions here is when you do make it on land and you're staring down the down the barrel of that type of environment, especially if they do make it as far as, as the audience, the arena, the Avicii arena, is how quick will you be able to react to the to the calls of your in-game leader or the information that's been given. But round two, we'll see Tyloo opting on in with a bit of a buy here. Some Deagles, Tech Knights, and Light Utah as well, and a bit more of a slower pace out of this one. Oh, that's brutal. You knew the bullets were coming. You see the bullet holes on the wall of ramp and just on the one of the bursts, you lose the first victim. It'd be crazy if Stown gets off to like a, a super star started performance here. This would be a great place to get your confidence up right against Tyloo because coming into this, I don't think too many people have them uh, as a team going through this group stage. So for somebody like Heroic, a team who should be in the contender conversation or at least close enough to, if they can come out and just beat them down and Stown can have a really good game. He's one of these names here that I think can be really exciting for Heroic. And there's another one, Refresh. If you're not uh, familiar with his exploits as a late, probably type in Refresh 1v5 in YouTube and watch that one because uh, it's yeah. it's a really, really tasty round to sink your teeth into. But that's 2-0. Yeah, I don't know, likely to be 3-0 here as Tyler limp out the gates. So Renegade's lost to them, obviously, our riders by the looks of things. Okay, I mean, that was a toss-up. I think a lot of people were uncertain as to how that one would play out. 16-13. Uh, by the end of things there. So a close one. Did, what map did they end up on? Ended up on Nuke. Okay, a lot of people think thought we might get an Inferno. We have uh, Mouse versus Sharks as well, and I think they'll be going down on Inferno. So we got both Infernos for both streams. Lovely jubbly. Stown is continuing where he left off. And yeah, it is light from Tai Lu. There's something back. Dan King puts one down range and into the dome of the Danish leader. Can't catch a break right now. I mean, do you remember the conversations we'd often have about Ty Lu is like w when they would get their close group stage exits and it would be like, oh, if only they'd had more time on European soil. They couldn't have had less time on European soil. Yeah. I, I, mechanically, it was always the thing that we would look towards and we would go, yeah, they can compete. But in terms of the type of Counter-Strike, that is a bit of a drama. But that's a nice shot. Yeah, if he gets another, you really are cooking with gas. And he's had a couple of opportunities. They won't be given to him quickly or easily. Oh, that should and is refreshes frag, but there's a dig from slowly. Falls by the wayside, and it's up to somebody to try and make something happen. Th who? Somebody that I used to know. Okay, all right, all right. Well, I think somebody's going to get a plant right here. If he just beelines it for this B bomb site, he can plant. He can even smoke off towards CT spawn. Being Ooh. able to pick up an MP9, this one starts to become a bit of a discussion here. for coffins. Still 30 seconds on that bomb. He's a threat, you know. He could be anywhere. And there's the first frag. Now he can play time. Chad, this one is looking like a 1v2 out of nowhere. Fake and smoke. That's a scary combination. 10 second defuse. There's no kit here. He just has to... He's just sitting it. Oh, he killed him with the nade. Oh, didn't even see that. Well, okay. Uh... <laughs> I didn't need the smoke. The need it too easy. Just the nade. That's all it needed. Blink and you miss it around here. Well, that one almost got out of control, didn't it? But uh, heroic, they they keep it together. 
Uh, it looked too good, right? The opening kills come on in. Dan King, yeah, sure, he's got a kill. No big dramas. Even this one after Summer, you're not too worried about this, but slowly taking off the head of Shush, it gets very, very interesting at this point. Somebody able to... Yeah, you can ah. see just there the nade. It looked like it was miles away, so... Here we go, the guns are out. Dan King into the AWP. Katie in the same. Piran down middle here and actually wants to get a little bit jiggy with it. He's going to take a pick to second mid. Nobody home. Backs on off. I do think we are, in this matchup in particular, going to get to see Heroic's flair. Uh, you think? Yeah. Think they're going to be off the leash a bit? A little. I mean, th I think Gadian... <coughs> Cadian's mid push uh, there was a good prime example of exactly uh, what we'll be seeing a little more of. Because it's not like they don't have a lot of coordinated aggressive moves, especially here on their CT side. Mm. It's just, I suspect it's going to be something that they're they're going to be pulling out quite early and quite frequently. Dan King's whipping out that T side AWP, and I wonder what he can do with it. I was going to say towards apartments, but now it looks like they are going to go for retake banana control. They don't have control of anything right now. They're just at one minute starting to work on boiler and halls, right? You can see this U2 coming on through. That's going to allow Summer to start taking a look, and banana as well, as you mentioned, right? So they're about to walk into this. Double nades through. Chipped on down, attacker softened up to 64, and that's going to push them back towards this A bomb site. Wait, or is it? I mean, the bomb's leading that way, but it's not stopping slowly from trying to take some contact play here. And Stown just greets him from the off angle. Not even a bullet down range, and they can escape in front of the smoke. That's a lovely little aggressive have maneuver. Another smoke as well. Yeah. Just going to lock him out. And they've got what? 10 seconds. Good luck. They have to go through it. Yep. And they will. A couple of high flashes. One by one, single file. Summer does contribute in a massive way. That's a very disruptive incendiary. The safe plant denied. And he's ready for the push. No, he's not. Doesn't pull the trigger. Cadian pants. Refresh, however, threatening on the retake. He didn't catch a glimpse of any more. And Dan King's off. Surely the perfect weapon for the job. CS goad on the first. Not going to happen for the following. Heroic three. Tyloo one. All right, well, the ramifications of that stown round with the nade kill to finish it off and get the defuse is going to be felt here immediately because he was the only man standing. There's not a lot of cash carried over for Heroic here. And Tai Lu, I don't know if they've broken Heroic here, but they've definitely battered them significantly. It's going to be a question mark of whether Heroic want to invest here behind or if they want to uh, opt for a bit of a save scenario and purchase in the next. So it's going to be a timeout to immediately discuss that. And if you notice there on the hero shots that we had of the teams, exist the coach of heroic now so uh th this is apparently a bit of a, a temporary scenario gonna feel each other out see how things uh, end up falling in place but having exist there getting him to chime in early it's gonna be interesting to see that dynamic if you i'm familiar with the coaching woes of heroic that's Ooh. another thing i recommend you give a bit of a google certainly but i mean you know what i just talking to uh who was i talking to it was cadian and someone else uh, cadian refresh uh, in a sit down over in stocker okay. a couple of weeks ago just asking about like who's taking on the extra load in the absence of hunden and well the answer was everyone the yeah, yeah the entire squad so i think the trial of exist is not only to try him out and let him stretch his legs and give the role a go it's also just for them to have some of the heavy duty hard work done by an, a third party yeah, it's, it's you want your players focusing on things that aren't you know outside of their realm and here comes attacker now i imagine this is just going to be a little lone pokey proddy mission you can see in fact the minimap embodies that this and with a pretty passive isn't it? yeah full stack so he's going to be sitting there looking to uh park the bus catch any ct aggressive maneuvers which is exactly what he might get that. yep hello i had a, at least two steps yeah at this point though you'd think they'd start getting a bit of a move on towards a to claw back some space but Nothing just yet. They tried to fake the speedway rotate and because they know of this potential for attacker to be tucked in and now re-stacking up on B. It's the right gamble stack call. Like yep. We can still see it's 100% the, they have top mid. Like I think Shush is the one giving them info for that right now, not uh, Tiny and even. Can't afford to lose a penny here. Coffins, double coffins, catches them off. The dinks are good. The dinks are too good. Stown's taken two heads. It does calm down. It should and will calm down. Bomb can be planted. Just Stown with some great contributions. A chance as well for Kadian to get a little bit more done. But there you have it. Tyloo do recover. A couple of casualties where they didn't want them. But three to two, the scoreline gap closed. Okay, so it, it feels early that Tyloo don't want to get involved in any of this silly banana control business right mm -hmm. like it's one of the hottest topics that we have on a map like this about oh yeah look at this beautiful stuff here from south the fact he was able to just calm himself down there to get the second good shooting but 
if Tyler were opting to play this slowly in every single round, then the adjustment that needs to come out from Heroic is being a little bit more stoic with their nades, right? Trying to hold on to that, be a bit more conservative. Oh, flash. Neared Cadian's off the line. Oh, this well, looks it is quick. Yeah, it's a pace change. They're getting barrel straight up. Yeah, okay, you can say just a little too deep on the flash, full vision, one for one, and Caden's sticking around for more. Oh, he sets all the info and the frag. Shush knows it's a short side push, and Caden's even trying to provide some additional support. They're into the site now. The smoke has guised them. A good catch from Shush, but can they clear him? Somebody's so low, he shouldn't be able to get this bomb down. We should even think about bailing here, like committing to this A site just seems like a death sentence oh, right nice. now. that's nice. He's actually managed to slip away. Let's pull the full rotation here. B-bomb site is open again. Now we've already seen somebody just you know, around the world here and get that bomb down. If he gets a move on now, he can do the same, but they don't have this vision. They can't see that everybody from Hero Heroic has rotated into the site, but Dan King, yes. he has that rotation. What a gamer. Holding that rotation in the arch, and now on the ready re-peak is Cadian. Danking might catch him, not to be bombed to be planted, but at least he's kept their feet planted on A. He's kept them planted for somebody to give it another go. A second bite of the 1v2 Sherry. Oh, there's no nade this time to deal with him here, unless that gets scooped up on the way over. Bomb goes down, the post-plant position, looking like he's opting for Banana here, and he will have a fight coming his it's way. It's going to be a 1v1 at least. You know, you talk about isolating jewels, and damn! Somebody strikes down, booked. And he's even got a Molotov, Chad. Yeah, but so does Shush here. Interesting. Oh, and he doesn't have the HP to swing on it. So if he gets that floor laden with flame, it is a 10 second defuse, though. Is the Molly good? Oh. Oh, oh, going wide. Shush should have it. 10 second defuse. So he needs to be on it now. Oh, well, wow. well handled wow. there. Shush keeping the coolest of heads on his shoulders there. Let's see how good our timer is, shall we? Three, two, one. Bloody Done. and brilliant. All right, well, good stuff there. And another nail biter for Heroic. So what started very quite flat for Tyloo, these last few have actually had a, a little bit behind them here. A pace change. They barreled on up. If their flash was a tiny bit better, Acadian's blind. They, they probably get up without too many hassles whatsoever. So the devil is in the details here. They're back in with the AKs. Another good plant. The rifle round equipped and uh, take a little bit of a look at Heroic Spy. They have three SMGs, three MP9s here. Prioritizing a load of util. You said they want to hold on to it. Well, we are going to be seeing a lot of early HEs and oh, Stown taking some liberties here. Some heavy ones. Full control of Banana ahead of the CT smoke and Dan King's pot shot wasn't too far off. Spanking his bottom. They've rejigged this CT setup very quickly here, and they're actually even looking like they want to go for a four-man gamble stack. So, it's heading back on over. Stown will be the lone defender of this B bomb site here. Left himself with a Molotov, and the jiggles, the jumps. That's what they're going to be looking for. Long side. Smoked on off. Top mid control is being given here from Cadian, not going to find anything whatsoever. He can smoke if he wants to lock them on out here, but Tyler will be using this to their advantage. The next piece of the puzzle they need to get is this full banana control. So top mid, short, but banana necessary. And I'm looking at about 45 seconds on the clock now. Down calls for aid, still has this molly in his hands and he actually drops it out quite early here. Is that for a second? It looked like there was a, that was enough to call the cancel. The CT smoke was in the air. So the util's been very well timed here, and the smoke indicative of full banana control. They're looking for a bit of a, a cheeky gap. split. Here. This is a huge gap. Nobody's watching it to be whatsoever. And they just smoke Moto. This is dreamy. It's gonna be a two v five on the B side. Um, Stown, you're good, but you're gonna have to be great. One rifle on this site to defend it. Tess is trying to disrupt. There's ten seconds. Ten, oh. and some are ready for action. It could not have been closer, Chad. They get it down with a second to spare. Bomb now ticking and heroic. What are you supposed to do with that? Couple of MP9 scattered around the T apartments. Summer keeps having a look here. They might get themselves a lovely little upgrade, but that was some great shooting from Summer there in pressure moments. So, yeah, patience the name of the game right now for Tai Lu. I mean, all it would have taken there was a slightly, slightly delay. Like, Tessus gets one. You've got five seconds, you're rushing the plants down, denies, and once someone's living in T apartments, it's over. I can't believe Summer's even starting to hunt on this lower HP. Uh, like, if he was going to save, he would have just tucked himself in T spawn. So he is being active on this, same as Dan King. You don't want to give away either of these rifles here to the MP9s, and everybody's going to get to hold on to their goodies. Bomb goes off, round secured, four to three, one in it. 
not looking too bad for Tyloo. They've been able to pip some of these gaps here, and even when they have gone towards the stacks on those ecos, they've been able to handle it. Now, if you're going to be heroic, a save necessary. Not a save necessary, a, a buy necessary indeed. So, Deagles, some armor to go with it. They've gone all in on this one. This would be a good indicator of how Tyloo can handle their uh, European force buys. This is the harder rounds to win, right? If they're able to hold on here. They just naded it so that, I was going to say, not expecting logs. They <laughs> drop a molly as well, so slowly wondering how much he has to wait out. But there's just a lot of posturing here. Again, just Tyloo waiting for Heroic to give them something, to give them anything. Really patient stuff. And the clock yet to really bite them. A couple of very last second plants, but some threatening 1v2 situations. If you summer here, you cannot go while that mid smoke is up because you just see how many CTs are on the other side here. Clamping down, they have four players top mid starting to peek on in. Ooh. And jumping into the jaws. A one for one trade. Cadian baits the cross out. Shush collects. That's the swing. He was ready for it. Somebody surely going to go down. And he will. Tessus aggresses. It's down, trying to play anti. And he is in a prime position. Unloads his mag, finds an AK. He's trying to survive. Oh, the tracer oh, oh, oh. fires there. He does find attacker. Blind in the smoke. It's up to Danking. And a heroic no scope. Makes the 1v2 realistic. Make it 1v3. He's just got one more to find. And Refresh has had been given the gift of time. It's not like he can go A now. He's closed the gap. And... Tanking. Oh, at least gets the info and should have an uncontested plant here. Should. Refresh. Readies himself for war in the angle. He lingers and that sharp shooting. The Dane again secures it. And that's what? Three 1v1s going heroic's way, Chad. Yeah, good stuff from Refresh there. Just having a little bit of a look for the AWP right now to see if he can find that one and carry it through for the boss man, Acadian. But yeah, that one almost got out of control as well. Now that was the, the upgrade of the pistols, the MP9s carried through, and the saved AK of Shush. And you could see heroic were being active there. Now it wasn't active initially, right? They weren't active out the gates. They had that top mid setup with four players looking great. And you have to give a, a big thumbs up to Stown here. Two kills for him. One He's got 155 ADR. On Stown? Yeah. Oh, wow. I, I don't see that from here. My eyes are... Yeah, it's yeah, grey on black. It's not... Well... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, all right, I got it here in front of me. All right. I don't know if that was correct, but it looks it looks it like a big number. up in a second. Here. I'm looking intently right now, but that was the thing I was saying, right? If Stown can get off to a really good game, like if he can, he can be that star fragger, because I remember when I would always talk about Heroic, it was with Stown at the top of my, my list, but... That hasn't necessarily been the case. This has been quite a high skill ceiling team with a lot of different individuals showing up. And this is before we even talk about the Nico and Burrup version of this team as well. Like the, we, we kind of just talk about Heroic as this one big entity over the online era. Five to three, guns back out. Back in consecutive rounds now for either side. At Tai Lu, will there be another pace change? Deep mid smoke lobbed on out. Gives him a bit of a buffer here to dissuade any of those faster mid pops and can also drop that utility deeper on that CT side. Warning shots exchanged, or will be noted. A bit of chip damage there to slowly. So again, I, wanting to get that mid control. They've done the porch boost here to maintain some information. Happy to give up banana control and have the stack. Meanwhile, keeping top mid under the CT side remit. You can see the setup here. So Kadian gets to pull the trigger and then a reactive flash to stop any swings. It's down to hunt you down. Oh, oh, it gets the Sketchy. info. Look at his moves. He's got punished for it. Kadian did connect with his AWP. You can see a complete relocation, a rejigging again of Heroic. They do like to keep it dynamic and it's it. Gamble staff. They've they just completely left Banana gamble? off for that. Yeah, this is quite ballsy here. They, have, they still have mid-info, so I, I don't know what's spurred on this rotation, but it's the wrong one. The B-bomb site is open right now. If they get a move on now, they can get back in position before they lose the site, but it would have to be now. Yeah, well, especially now Refresh has dealt with somebody. Tessus loves to get that smoke down before they arrive. I think he's just made just. it in time. 
Oh, and it's at the 30 second mark, Chad. It's absolutely brutal for Tyloo. Even has a Molly to work with as well. Oh, he can put that behind it. There's a flash in support. Heroic have booked him here. Yeah, Molly pull. The plant's going to be denied. There's a flash for good measure. You're looking one way or the other, and there is the strike. That is the dunk. Heroic looking set for six. Yeah, this was tidy stuff there. The gamble looks super risky, but some are still alive. There you go. A nice chance for the first, and even a chance at the second. Jeez. Cadian, what are you up to, my man? Coming He's out grey screen. Yeah. Giving him a chance. We've all seen what happens there. Jeez, okay. Six to three. Keeping himself ahead here, Heroic. We're going to have one round in this one, Chad, I'm telling you now. We're going to have one of... You know what we just saw from Payne? We're going to have one of the... Oh, the, you reckon? The Someone's ridiculousness. Have a mental moment? Yeah. I don't okay. know if it's coming from the Danes or Tai Lu, but it's in the water for sure. We've been kept pretty humble on the mainstream today. There hasn't been any crazy, crazy plays. I think the Cirrus and 4K on the Glock round was, wasn't too bad. Yeah. But Other than that, I think just the Astralis Copenhagen result oh, yeah. was, was as a, a result that surprised, not so much the individual. Well, farming for Stown now. We are farmers. It's going to be how many can he get is the real question here. Is it going to be two, three? Yes, again, like Tyloo is still back. Three of them T-stairs, two of them working slowly. Second mid to mid, one apartment. So there is a gap right now. Like Stown has gone through without any resistance. Yeah, this is the dream situation for Stown, right? When you have been given the freedom to let off the leash and... Well, his teammate might find all the hard work. Never mind. Now he can strike. It's long range, though. Not ideal. Choosing to bide his time and now peppering them up. There's all three. Lovely control of the MP9 in the end. The fourth for good measure. Yeah, is he going to get the AK? Look like he's going to get across there in time. So, not the end of the world here, but now quite the commanding lead for Heroic. 7-3. to three. Felt like there were moments early for Tyler. When there still is. It's a long half ahead of us here, but they need to... Show us if they have a little bit more than sitting back, waiting, hitting the A bomb site, and then rotating towards B. That, uh, that's about it, really. No hey, cheese right now. I'll we'll make that one. A couple of flashes, smokes to work with as well. And, and they're going into the default spread again. Right? Uh, default spread once more. Three second mid, passive. Oh, Cadian. Well, there goes half your health. Yeah. No sacrifice to the flame god. It must be a dream right now if you're heroic. Yeah, so they just kind of gave us banana every round. Yeah, we just did a deep smoke and no one came through it. And then we just like rotated and played 4A. And kept, just jump at the half wall for info. Kept the AWP mobile the entire time. Like, you're not getting pressured in banana whatsoever. I, and I understand, like, if that's your game plan of Tai Lu to, to go for this here and let them use all their utility and then take it, like, that's, that's fine. But it just looks... For Heroic, th there's not too many dramas for them early in these rounds. They're just going through the paces. Good nade. Right on the money. They do manage to evade it, but... Zones them out. 50 seconds. It's like we're watching Virtus Pro right now. It is. Yeah, very reminiscent of the uh, old school. You can see there's almost indecision, like a conversation happening in real time. 38 seconds, and they could even boost for info if they fancied it. He's just going to be flashed off the line. That's enough to keep their feet planted. But no what are you doing? No one's seen another player. We've had a minute and 30 seconds, and no one has seen another player. Yeah, it's 24 as they commit A. 20. When do they go? Util in the sky. The flash from Shush should do a lot. Back's already in turn. And oh, he's in the sight. That's damage. A chance. Dankin goes down. 10 seconds. They're still up in pit. They might do something, Chad. They need to be planting. They do, do get the headshots necessary. No now. I don't think there's time. It's going to be so close. He's on it. Just he gets it down. They extend play. Only for a second. Somebody again in a 1v2. The poor soul never seems to get health for the clutches. And they're grouping up. They're not port boosting, are they? No, still just lingering. Oh, confirmed his position. And surely can just group up. One bullet will do it. Into his position and dealt with the first. Somebody. Third time's the charm. Looking for it. Stown just needs to find one bullet. The elusive bullet. Playing with the angles. Playing with the clock. And just a couple of Has seconds to find the bomb. shy. Has to find the bomb. Oh. It's another one second defuse. It's going to be close. It's another one second. Oh, <laughs> heartbreak for Tai Lu. <laughs> Leave them alone. Cardiac arrest. <laughs> it's just so, it just doesn't seem fair. The clock on the boys' side. Heroic just again by a Nat's wing.
pull out another round in the 1v1 and somebody at this point wants to put his fist through his desk. That was the closest he's come. Uh, I, I can't believe the trades even started to fall in their favor here. Right? It was like, what was it, 22 seconds as they started the hit onto the site and then they were stalled out by utility. They were flashed off and they still managed to get the bomb down and find themselves in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Like, Heroic are just getting through these rounds. I I'd hate to see how this one looked. 0.2 seconds in it, Chad. Holy moly, red beans and ravioli. All right. Wow. Close stuff here. Okay, what do you need to do, Tyloo, to get this one done while well, getting that bomb down again? Point two, yeah. Wow, we. Okay, okay. Well, AK's back out. Util is lighter every time, right? Because, sure, they can buy because of the bomb going down, because of the loss bonus, but there's nothing to work with. Oh, this is so aggressive. It's down. He's throwing some aggression and some flair into the mix. And yeah, it's going to be punished. Dan King's just taken two of them straight out. This has to be Tyloo's round. Has to be. They got greedy. And now just to looking to ruin their day. No, no. no, he's been checked. Refresh had them all on a silver platter for a second. It's they still a competitive Shush round. Is. Shush has got a kill. They know exactly where he is. Okay. He has to be coming from this angle. Either here or halls. So advantage definitely nullified and then some. Attacker set for success here. The information gathered and can't adjust his crosshair. Tessus will punish Look this. Nade set. Has to be Ty Luz. Tessus has got every nade under the sun. This is the frag. Somebody needs it now. And he will take them both. Delivers the fourth. Ty Lu convert off of Dan King's openings. All right, well, finally, they're able to break this. Like, it's just felt like such a struggle here. And it's felt like a long time between rounds here for Ty Lu. Heroic humbled, however, and yeah, this was Dan King with two great ones. So on that first kill for Caden, he spots Stown as well. Stown was looking a bit whippy there, a little bit worried about the stampeding footsteps up second mid. But really good shooting, and then somebody just from the top rope here able to hail down some pain. It is going to be a bit of a hodgepodge buy. So an AWP, a Famous, an MP9, and two pistols here. There's oh. the opener, Kadian with a great shot, attack is dead, the 4v5, and now Tyloo know what they're walking into. But this is, yeah, this is their first taste, they're like, okay, let's try banana. Let's, let's see what it's about. You know what, like, maybe the, the pro teams do it. We'll let's see how it is. Let's see what it's like. Uh, attacker is really not happy with how that one went down. Well, you lose a player and a half as a nade chunks slowly down to 43. I think they were expecting that would have been enough to have broken Heroic here. And that's the thing, when you're going for a buy like this and you're even going to be scooping yourself up an extra smoke, down getting cheeky with it. Graceful. When you're the solo B player and you're still staring at your smoke, that's the confidence we were talking about. The fact he's been able to scoop up another one as well here, right? Like, they're just going to leave him and hedge again towards A. These A stacks from Heroic have paid off time and time again, but... If they linger too much, Chad, if there's an extra 10 seconds, okay, looks like they won't. There's real intent here. They might go through the flash. He understands the state of play. Tai Lu are breaking down the barriers. This boost, though, surely anticipated. There will be a crosshair on it. It's somebody. A couple of pre-fires. A good spray. Stown does get up, but will he evade the spray? He does. Just about a man advantage for this retake. This is a real gap closer opportunity for Ty Lu. A very deep CT smoke, but that does work. It completely locks them out of going through that. You just don't know the uncertainty. Enough to force your hand, and so three coming in from the coffin position. It's all on slowly. One of the frags required. It's a two on two. Time sensitive mission for the Danes, but they are still hitting shots. Problem again, somebody thrust oh. into the clutch and he pulls it home. Two headshots straight through the corner. Tyloo given the gift from somebody once again. There's five. You gotta be loving it now. He's starting to get activated here. Look, he didn't win those clutches earlier and it was starting to hurt, but now they've put himself in a fantastic position. Back to back rounds from Tyloo now. It's broken the bank of Heroic. It's put themselves in a position where they can close this gap. They can find themselves staring down the, bar the barrel of an 8-7 first half. This is looking good now. Yeah, brilliant. It has been slow. It has been tedious. It's been like pulling teeth at moments. But they've gotten what they're looking for here. And you can see Cadian's force board in, right? At this point of the game, you have two horrible discussions. Do we force by now and have an average buy? And next round will also have an average buy, or do we eco now and then still next round have an average buy? Well, uh, let's go for two average lesser buys. Lesser of the I guess. two evils. Yeah, so two cracks at this. But realistically, the last three rounds of their half here will all have been suboptimal, right? Last round they had what, a Famous, an AWP, and an MP9 with two pistols. Now they just have five pistols. The next round it's going to be SMGs and pistols again. So Tai Lu, uh, somehow they put themselves in the power position here. They can't win the half, but 8 7, not bad. Considering how it's 
been looking and how hard done by they've been at times. Of course, a point two milliseconds. Yeah, they're such close rounds, right? And that's a lot of that has been through Stown. He has been very good. 22 kills for him. The next closest on his team, Alex, is Kadian with nine. So maybe we should be singing his praises a little bit louder here. 22 kills. Jeez, down into the 20s before anyone breaches 10. Yeah, like on the other side of things, somebody with 11. We got 12 for Summer. Uh, sorry, somebody with 13. It's Dan King with 11. But yeah, this is their this is their opportunity now. Like you can wipe the slate clean of all those real like hard done by close. Last second clutches and 1v1s. If you can cleanly convert up against a, a wounded heroic here, economically for sure. That smoke right there from Stown, right? It's very defensive. And they know that they've showed nothing top banana, right? Tai Lu. Hold up a second. Summer. They're grouping up. They're coming back. Into the app stack. Kaden will hear this soon. Shush will too. Relays that information. Oh, an opportunity and a huge one. Will he strike? It's oh, hard. No, he's, he's missed his it. shot. Oh, and so will Shush. It. Too much for them to handle. Tai Lu have now broken into the A site and attacker gets his 1v1s. One by one, they will fall. Only Stown. They know he's the B player. Likely rotated in after all of this kerfuffle. And already working with a scrap of HP. Yeah, they're even going to hunt him down here. Why the hell not? Things are starting to turn. The tide in this one here completely shifted now. Eight to six. One more round in this first half. And again, you're going to see what I'm talking about that buy. 2.4K. That's all they have to spend. It's going to be very similar scenes to what you just saw them purchase. Deagles with Util, maybe some MP9s. That's the best they have to boast right now. And that was actually a really good opportunity for Heroic. They had two players behind them. And they flubbed the shots. They, they missed the shots. You don't, you're not going to get many opportunities like that. You get that T-side AWP out again. It's up against those, as you discussed, two bites of the same buy. Deagles and a nice mix-up for the MP9. Shush kept very honest so far. This is looking a bit more active. Flash and go. Yeah, and slowly the spread could get him. And he throws out the smoke. It's so telegraphed. It's down a chance. Denied. Good spray. And he makes it two. B site should be open for business. A 2-1 split of what little remains from Heroic and Refresh is even considering the gamble as well. I can't believe how much this game has changed. Yeah. We're sitting at 7-3, to three, I think the scoreline was. And it's like, okay, well, Ty Lu, they can win just by melting down the clock and hopefully out-rotating Heroic. But now, once they broke that economy, Heroic have just fallen into that trap. Right? They've been left with not too many options here. And uh, three rounds on the trot to, to lose the half with rubbish buys, realistically. And back towards B. So after not going B whatsoever, not going for the banana control, Tyler were testing their luck here again late, and it's looking like it working time and time again. Smoke's over, nobody home. The gamble stack from Heroic, this time over towards the A bomb site. And as they hear those smokes bloom, as they hear those flashes off in the distance, they know that they've gambled incorrectly. A and look how safe Tyler were playing this. There's no rush. They're sending slowly ahead of the pack. They're sending him in to make sure nobody's home. The bomb comes across now. The mid rotation still held. The bomb will go down and this is almost guaranteed right now to be the seventh. I mean, what a fantastic second half of our first here. Like Ty Lu reinvigorated. And they're just now leaving the A site. I mean, you, you don't have to be a genius to see how this one ends. Oh, somebody oh. as well. Uh, uh, yeah, look, even if they get a kill or two here, somebody's got them all. Yeah, that's if Dan King doesn't lock them down. Bait and switch. Oh, danking. Lovely finish. Good sequence on the AWP. And tying it right up. Tyloo 7, Heroic 8. Swapping sides. Tyloo heading over into the defense, Chad. And that gives me some grounds to believe that there is a world where Tyloo can take a, a huge and heavy scalp. This is already much more competitive than I thought it was going to be. Right? I, in my mind, I'm wanting to see the Heroic hit the ground running. I'm wanting to see the Heroic that we've all grown to love. And it's just not to be the case. And that scoreboard tells the story. One player was active for them. That was it. It was Stown. He was getting so much done. Everybody else quiet, right? Normally, Shush is a pretty good safe pair of hands. Or Cadian's finding some impact on that AWP. Well, it's not to be. And now they have to do it on the T side. They were using Summer as a lovely little kind of uh, decoy, for lack of a better term. Just drawing them in. And then he's peeking off of the hide of his teammate. Very cool. Very cool. Let's get into our pistol. 
You can see Cadian's opted for a little util, the rest opting to equip themselves with a Kevlar vest and the also same, in fact, mid. for Tai Lu, five of them. So we've got oh. some headshots to be seen. Somebody hands Cadian one quick. They're noisy too, he's hearing a lot of this. Yeah, he's oh ready. He's God. got his head on a swivel. Two what? quick headshots, somebody. He's looking the wrong way. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I mean, admittedly, he was solo. It has led to a very lost sight, and that's a very long range goosh. Okay. Not the easiest of retakes. Bomb starts to tick. Two up mid quite quickly here. Going to be able to clamp down on this. Tessa's playing a very passive line. He's just dealing with any apps jumps. He can obviously strike. Stown's going to be the first contact here. Now drawing the cross there. Summer does a lot with that. And it's up to Refresh to go all the clutch. Not to happen again. Attacker strings it together. Two from him. And the retake is good. Tyloo take the pistol. I love that. They just crept up and then exploded, right? Think how close they got to the site and then everybody appeared at once. It, because Heroic were playing so safe in the site, they, they didn't want to take those fights against the USPs. You understand that. But uh, as soon as Tyloo note, okay, well, we're not getting any resistance letting us walk in. You don't want to fumble it. They've gone in quickly and it's not giving a chance for the Heroic players to react. And this one here, like somebody is hearing four players running noisily on the wooden floorboards of apartments. And he's looking towards a hole, like a waterfall. And a pistol, you're expecting the waterfall at the end of a part. Able to flick around and grab a second. That was great from somebody. Yeah, he's had his impact, hasn't he? I mean, we've seen much more impactful plays out of the boys from Tai Lu. Look at the uh, buy right now for Heroic, though. They've actually been able to get out three AKs here. So. Wow, shush the sacrificial martyr here. Scout as well. So, uh, okay, this is a juicy looking buy right here, but this could fall in multiple different ways. If Tai Lu picked this up, they might be able to walk away with a couple of AK-47s here, and Heroic are going to be in a bit of a hole. The quiet scenes, I'm not sure if we change the names, it looks a lot like that first half, right? So Tai Lu did a lot of this, just sitting back, taking their time, allowing the clock and utility to be whittled on down. Heroic are doing the exact same thing here. Pretty strong mid-crossfire they have as well. Get the silent mantle, refresh given the gift of a bump this is difficult though because the clear on the balcony position over towards the porch side th that won't be easy and they also have a player tucked in summer a and as well you can get the strike from danking over towards that trash side so posturing in banana uh, waiting out this mid smoke time sensitive there's still more util to be dropped oh another smoke like heroic almost counting on refresh or a very late hit they're gonna have to go with about 15 seconds left, or uh, not a whole lot of time here unless they want to go through this fading smoke. That seems the plan. Caden's been given the flash. It's not going to catch attacker. He's in such a prime position to wreck him here. Oh my god, you see the damage. Anomalous Cadian left wounded and not checking their corners. The clock's too light. The spray's a little shy, but it's not a problem. Laughed out of the round. Tai Lu collect and connect. And the four, or rather, three AKs out of heroic for flat. Beautiful stuff, four kills for attacker there. Like that position, he didn't have to move from it from the start of the round. They didn't have to move that CT setup. Because of the slow nature of all of this, Tyler just stuck to their guns. And, and now, I can't believe I'm saying this, they're in the lead. At nine to eight, it's likely to be 10 to eight here and some great shooting out of attacker there. Oh. Just they've dealt with that. They get two AKs to carry on through. This is great for Tai Lu now. All they need to do is keep this clean and there's nothing on the other side of things that said it shouldn't be. Yeah. Looking like a B rush though. It is, and if they can handle business, it looks like they will, and they have. Somebody deals with the first two. The nades are brilliant, so slowly contributes from the flame alone. The nade took a chunk out of them. Look at the CTs. They're pushing. They just want to finish this right now. Get SMG hunting. Yeah, get them out of here. They're feeling the mojo. It has led to the demise of Dan King, but not much more should be written in the chapter of heroics. And then 10. 10 to 8. They extend their lead, Chad. They've got goodies to spare. AK-47s for good measure. Dan King's on his signature weapon. And uh, yeah, let's see if Heroic can give us a bit of a, a masterclass and some do some convincing of their own here in the first gun. Yeah, I think we might get a bit more flair out of this gun round as opposed to the ones where they forced him with the AKs. You were light on U2. You couldn't have your safety net holding the flash. You bottom of the T-stairs, the flash of a banana. You didn't have all the smokes to extinguish the Molotovs, but now they do. So I think we should see something a bit more standard on this Heroic T-side. But Dan King, how brave are you? How wide are you going to go? The tight line taken, the flash off, oh. and just around the corner. Ooh. Yeah, that was lucky. The nade's well placed. Refresh swallows it. I didn't even go with timing here. Like, 
it was looking like he wanted to go through that arch, I spoke. Yeah, but he's also just reminded himself of the score and doesn't want to be taking any of these unregistered gambles. But now they're boxed in. Like, look how much banana pressure there is. They're all in this mid corridor. And a deeper smoke here as well. Hyper. They have two players at logs on the CT side. I don't think I've ever seen this. <laughs> I've never seen it. One anti as well. Two it's kooky. And they're keeping three players banana here. It must be a detail that Heroic are going to want this banana control. They're going to fight for their lives here. They're not going to drop back. They plan to win the round on Heroic's fight for this territory. 100% and the bomb's coming in too. Oh, first is found. Baited in perfectly. You're not going to check again. And slowly strikes. And a smoke on top to get him out. It's brilliant. Oh, and it's been rumbled by a smoke spray. Stown has given Heroic a little bit of a... Shining light at the end of a rather bleak tunnel. Do you go A or B? That's the question. 45 seconds, plenty of time to make up your choice here. The smoke would be perfect. If he drops that now, they're going to have about 20 seconds if they wanted to commit B. And it might enable a little bit of a gamble of sorts. There's oh, only Dan two of them King. left. Dan King, the solo A holder. It's a good spot for this. Yeah, potential timing on that long. He won't get paranoid just yet, but the flash. Oh, oh he has crossed. no info. He's worked it out, though. He's tracking no, him no, as no, best he here. can. They oh my know, god, he's, he's unchecked and he strikes on to refresh the bombs now loose. And Dan King strikes just twice, maybe thrice. Oh. Tessus has time. Plenty of it. Summer this time thrust into the clutch. He's rotating in now, late now from Banana. Two of the three required. Dan King's gone above and beyond. Summer has a kit. And 30 seconds to work his magic. Tess is concerned for long. Battle of wits between the two here. Tessa. Ready and strikes. Scary stuff. Heroic given the ninth. Again in a 1v1. Oh, it looks so good for Tyloo, right? That banana setup, it looked great. You're thinking they're converting there. The kill through the smoke, that was the difference maker, right? Slowly going down, getting the ants in his pants, having to move out of that logs position. And when he drops, that was the difference maker because they were able to get the bomb back. They were able to pick that up and from there able to play out the round. But this Dan King moment, the fact that the first goes past and he doesn't even note, right? Like he has an idea, gets two kills, forces this into a one-on-one -on -one scenario. How much more do you need from Dan King there? Maybe a bit more because he has the all out again. Tyloo need to respond with a round of their own. Quicker here with the boiler control refresh up again. Yeah, but bomb still T stamps, indicative of perhaps just a little bit of a solo mission in towards the apartments. Really enjoying the hedge of the three players B here again from Tyloo, right? They're, they're happy just to have two defenders over towards the A side. Yeah, and it could work wonders. Unfortunately, slowly was flash, doesn't quite catch. And Cadian will punish. I know there's at least one more. On yeah, the but B they're side. looking like they've just got a very serious intent to finish right here and now. Four on four as they do swallow that flash and unloading the mags. The CTs have done so much damage. The dust will settle into a 2v2. This nade could be set for glory. Not bad. It's a bit deep. On the money. The bullets are too. Shush is gone. The bomb now ticking and it's Cadian working with a bit of a limp. Anticipating the peak and gets the info. That's big from Summer. He knows. They know. Still knocks his head off. Just a little ahead of the Dan King arrival. And Cadian's playing good game. He's got his eyes in the prize and knows oh. exactly when to strike Dan King. Couple of missed shots now. And Cadian, the clock's on, on his side. If he goes for the fake, Cadian, it's not a fake. It's a full 10 second. And he is sticking out in the smoke <laughs> and the stab for good measure. Cadian pulls the clutch across the line. Again, though, every round we see Heroic convert, it is by the skin of their teeth. Yeah, there's been a lot of 1v1s in this one here, and we're tied up at 10 10, so hopefully we get a lot more. But both teams now are really stomaching some of these financial woes being felt a little bit more so on the Tyloo side of things. Now, uh, this is where a timeout is really important because the discussion at this point is hey, we know that their money sucks too. So do we want to go for a force buy here? The best we're going to be looking at is maybe some MP9s, maybe a couple of pistol upgrades. That, that's the best, right? With armor and some light util around it. But if we win that round, we can get this economy back in our favor. And uh, that's going to have to be the conversation that's being had right now from Tai Lu. Do we want to go all in? Do we want to chase this? Do we want to see if we can take it away from them? Or do we want to just concede and know that we can get it done when the rifles are back out? It's a big question to ask here as we're getting towards the business end of this one. Looks like they will be taking the save scenario. Flashbang out, P250. That's the best they have to boast right here. So it's going to be a top mid flash and a peak with four of them. I like it. It's got legs. Just waiting for a sound cue, some sort of indicator. I'd love some util thrown up there just to 
imply a commitment, but look at the liberties taken now. Very loud. They know it's light. Bombs there. Execute coming soon. Oh, brutal. Well, well, this is the opposite end of the spectrum. Yeah. If, if they... I guess if they had done it at most, there would have been one or two players in the big corridor. Now, unlikely to find anybody. I feel like using the flash right now is, is almost a bit of a waste. So, they will hold on to it. They just peek and call it clear. If they can use it to either head back over towards CT and maybe flash himself in or... Okay, they just don't want to give away anything. Fair enough. Yeah, there's some MAC-10s hunting you. This, this, this from a financial standpoint makes a lot of sense, right? If you're new at a Counter-Strike, if you're on the T side, right, and you don't die at the end of the round, you don't get the loss bonus. On the CT side, that, that doesn't happen, right? The Ts are the ones who have to force the objective. So that's to encourage them to actually go for the objective, yeah. right? So the CTs here, by staying alive, they will be avoiding death to those Mac 10s, which are 600 bucks a pop. Whereas the AKs, they're 300 a pop. The AWP, it's 100 a pop. So not allowing Heroic to get the free kills is actually going to hamper them. They will get the round win bonus, right? But they don't get anything extra. And it also means that they're going to hold on to these Mac 10s. So uh, we'll see how far we can keep that into play. But Tai Lu being um, financially responsible here. Goes off. Uh, unicorn round. As everybody stays alive, they don't happen too often. Just like unicorns. Yeah, that, that was. Yeah, I, I hope people at home will get that. Just Unless you sure. believe in unicorns. Well, we have to if they if we're using them as a, an analogy, right? It can't be a fictitious creature. True. Well, yeah, you're right. If they only show up sometimes, it means they're showing up. Yeah. Okay. Oh in, dear. In oh dear. Basically. Maybe. Yes. Okay. Or Anders, crazy weekends. Yeah, it's <laughs> just a Monday for Anders, right? <laughs> Let's go. Fast up banana here. Quick oh. boost, dealt with. Yeah, it's down the start of the heroic show. He's been very quiet in the second half. Don't forget, came into the second half with 22. Yeah, what's he at now? 23, 23. so one kill. That's uh, not a whole lot, but the workhorses, Katie and Refresh, they've woken up a bit. Pessis as well. Number disadvantage to push the 4v5, not going to be easy. She's lined on up. Sandbag position still being held on to. The Hobbit-esque play here. Yeah, I don't hate the flash as well. Should be in prime position. The trajectory of the nade alone. Out. Yeah, he manages to get away completely. That's not bad. Whoa, uh, brave from Cadian. Peeks straight on in. A chance. It was awry. 50 seconds then, and the bombs they have smoke. Posturing B. But they're not smoking it off just yet. There you are. Right, it, was, it was being forced out, and they have to. Made them work for it, though. Heroic. <laughs> Pull out the smoke. There's more to be coming from the Tai Lu defense. Well, they only have one smoker flash and a HE now for Heroic here to attack this A site, and there's two players still passive. One deep pit at bike, one in the site tucked in on cold zero. So, with this kind of a setup and low on time, it's not going to be easy to get on through. Yeah, refreshers are going to look to get space here. If he loses his life early, they're actually going long side. 20 seconds to go long side. You're going to have to get through the arch hold. You don't have util for this. You're just hoping. Oh, they've oh, looked away. They've, 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 they've slipped the net. They've slipped the net. They're going to gamble. B, three of them leaning the wrong way. Bomb spotted. They Attacker. Know it's up. He's still got health. And he's got the time on his side. If he can just delay. Can and he, he will. He's done enough, I think. Oh, Ooh, I'm not sure. I thought it looked a bit late. It looked late. It's just down in time. Hard to believe. Hard to stomach, perhaps, but Tai they still have the man advantage. Good to work this one out. And I smoke to neutralize the pit threat. Oh, is there a one way around that? Is there a gap? He's going to investigate. He's got something there. A tiny gap for Shush. And Refresh does not have the ideal weapon for the job. Still, time sensitive mission here. And Shush oh, catches a whisper of somebody. The site's open for business, and they know he's pit. There is a kit. Summer has to be defusing now. And this is the frag. He needs to knock him the off the bomb. Guard. And the bodyguard stands strong. Slowly, again, a component of it. MVP of the round is attacker. He stood strong on the pit side. Okay. Oh, the timing on that arch rotation is mental. As they were rounding that corner, they just peered away to hedge for the B gamble. That's what happens when you don't have any information late. And this is how it all started. That felt like a lifetime ago that Stown died. Jeez. Nearly three out of attacker as well. What well, I mean, these rounds, there's something, there's a different flavor to them, Chad. Yeah, these are nail biters here. And while we continue to go back and forth, this one. Make a wish, 11-11. Well, here's the change up. This is faster towards mid. That smoke, denial. They could flash through. It's a bit old school. They're looking like it. And yeah, oh, I think they've second guessed the, the, the boost. That's actually probably the best call because they'd have been caught fumbling. 
So they've reacted accordingly. Dan King slaps Tessus. He just went dry around the corner and Dan King punishes that. They're still heading A here. Yeah, library side smoke. They really like this arch side, but there's two players over towards arch now. One library, one in arch. And they've dropped their own smokes forward. Oh, oh a dink exchange. Shush's gun is just better. And so now, with lots of time, but lots of territory still under the CT control, it's the smokes that's breeding a little bit of uh, ignorance. Don't know just quite how much pressure is on attacker from the graveyard side. Alien searching. That's a lie. He's got the support of that Cold Zero box again, so it's on lock. It's all about who takes that what first fight brave for the repeak. And Refresh opens up the site. Can he finish the job? Here. Yeah, he does. And Cadian's the next one stepping up to the plate. Orb connects. Bomb to be planted. Rogue should be set for the plant and the round now. In regular Counter-Strike, this is a save. And it will be here too. But I, I just had a bit of a hesitation there because this is Ty Lu we're talking about, right? They might have been spurred to go for that type of a round, but in Counter-Strike on European soils, played with the best teams in the world, if you find yourself in a 2v3 retake on the CT side of either of these bomb sites, more often than not, you're going for the save. So it makes a lot of sense to see them going for that here. Oh, but this is back and forth right there. And uh, Dan King, that shot must have been an absolute banger. Like, just peek it on out. Get, it's heroic here. They are both teams operating in the dark, right? Let me let me kind of fill you in on this because Tyler don't have any banana information. Tyler know that Heroic are top mid. Heroic don't have any idea of anybody's banana. So both teams are just kind of sitting and waiting. It just comes down to literally winning your fights. Like that's it because you're not playing with information. Neither team is playing with any information. They're just waiting for kills to come their way. Doing it old school. Uh, it's just it's it's mental that neither team has any info. Yeah. It's like it's crazy. But that's the last timeout now for Ty Lu. From that same conversation I was talking about before when they had enough money to go for a force and the economy was teetering, well, it's kind of off the table now, but it's because we have these two guns. Do we want to invest behind those two guns or do we want to take a save? Now, it looks like they're going to opt for the save and just work with these two rifles. Attacker into a CZ. Maybe some other light upgrades here. Slowly has a smoke in his hands. This, this isn't an unwinnable round. Jesus. Okay, well, ready for that. Tanking more than aware that that peak was coming on through, but some good shooting from both sides and a great trade from KD in there. If, if another kill came in, it became a 2v2 on that site. Different situation, completely different conversation. Tyler were a threat. Can they be threatening though with just two rifles? It's down. Very polarizing. Two halves, and they will get info off this. Minimal, but it's there. Attacker CZ, I mean, you couldn't really find a more threatening place to pop the CZ than in the apps. I, I feel like if you're somebody right now, you can't you can't just leave the B site. Like, you can't leave slowly there alone with a the USP, right? You, you're going to have to stay. So you're almost tethered to him. I think we're taking a risk, of course, somebody into the smoke. Down with the tiniest fraction of his shoulders to get that info. Yeah, the rest should fall into place. The fact that they just killed an M4 as well, indicative that the hard part might be done. And they would be right to assume so. It is only that USP boosted over the smoke and Summer straight through the smoke. Has at least managed to take another scalp. Bomb to be planted safe. Uncontested right now. And oh, I mean, refresh. You may be looking the wrong way, but they're not looking neither. <laughs> All right, well, Ships. now he has an idea. Hello. There's one. Needs the other. Knows that he's one of the players that saved in the previous year. So the hunt could be on, right? You might want to task a couple of the heroic members here to try and rip this out of Dan King's hands. Refresh is currently the closest. He's also getting some cavalry of Cadian coming on over to join the party. Clearing out, making sure they're not missing anything. And well, that'll be it. I think they're going to call this one off. It's going to be 13 to 11 now and starting to peel away late our heroic Dan King. 19 kills for him at this juncture of the game. 18 for Summer, attack on 16, slowly with 11, and uh, somebody with 21. Another sort of thing, Stown, he's found two kills now in the second half, but he's 24 kills to the good. But it's the other players here from Heroic activating on this T side to carry them through. I think 
Dan King's going to invest into the AWP here. He will. So he's actually dropped that AK across. That was saved for his teammates. Plenty of util being purchased on up. So I'm going to grab some late on the way out of spawn. And uh, again, predominantly the three-man B lean from Tyler on this CT side. It's going to be a deep mid molly from Dan King. It flushes them out of the chicken pit. chance to pick but I think that long side mol uh, smoke from the T's there has dissuaded him knowing that there's only two players holding this site you have to be a little bit more passive and punishing that uh, heroic heading towards A again they've done this time and time again they like the arch side pressure yeah let's see if that can do anything more with it smokes flashes everything they've thrown is working perfectly and pot shots is the best bet they have to save the round's already over yeah the round is already over some are dead no kills no traction Dan King not able to help con contest because he got put behind their smoke wall that's 14. That, that that's as easy as it looks like that's all it takes what are you meant to do your rotation point is guarded by uh, multiple t's who just swarm that side of the map and now i would be hunting Holding off on the plant is Shush, allowing his teammates here to get into position to start to hunt this one out. We'll be planting open. Tess is clearing library. There's going to be pressure through the arch side from Stown. There's two players working through Banana. They want to take these guns away, and that would be massive. This is a, a huge break point for Tyloo's survivability. They've got 30 seconds now, an entire They're so force. Passive. They're so passive. Slowly, methodically, trying to close that gap, and they do confirm the AWP has been spotted in the coffins. It's also indicative that the heroic hunt is on. Great pop flash, slowly gobbles that one up. White screen for a second longer. Dan King ready to threatening as well. And they're going to have a little poke and a prod. Dan King's been dinked up. Got to watch himself now. He's on notice. Holding on to three rifles. Nice hold, slowly, lives on, and there you have it, Ty Lu, they passed the test. Okay, well, they're going to be able to drop a gun across here, so the, the fact that they keep that many players alive is great, considering the circumstances. Uh, things aren't going to be as bleak as they could have been, but you can see the intention there from Heroic. They're unable to pull it off, but regardless, 14 to 11 now. And again, the conversation of this one has completely changed. What's the difference maker going to be? I, they, they're going to start playing three players over towards the A site. At least Tyler have been punished too much. But how many steps ahead are heroic? Do they just go straight over towards the B bomb site after they posture for the default of A? It's a different look set up here from Tyler. Three players heavy on this mid defense. And that's where we saw early success for them come through. Seeing an AWP clearing apps as well as a. It's confidence that they don't play close apps, right? This yeah. Is the, the it's an details, understanding. Yeah, like you're not doing that normally by any means. They just know the fight's like unlikely to come against the rifle Tai Lu. And so here's your posturing. Doesn't get much more than that. You're spraying them. Clear AK's heard. Scope's heard. Util drained. Cadian holds his line. If anyone on short does get pushy. Look down. Lower than he may have desired. 34 points and health remain. Still four players over towards A here for Tai Lu. Got some mid info from that long side. Somebody's pushing. Somebody's pushing. He wants some more info. How far is he going to go here? When he tucked in close. It's a powerful one to get Hadian, and that's exactly what he's done. Orp down. They're heading to B. Will Tai Lu have the resources? It's Dan King's Orp, and he's lingering on the just the edge of the lurky smoke. Summer. State of limbo, unwilling to commit, not falling for the barrel bait. Dan King restrained and ready. Swallows the flash, misses the shot. Util's a bit shy, and that's the strike. They tried to clear first. He loses his head, and so does the defense. It's up to somebody now, and Refresh is having none of it. Great reactions, and the bodies just keep dropping. Ty Loot swatted away like flies as 15 is secured. Only attacker. Good luck. Have fun. Great stuff from Hiroka. What, what else are you meant to say about that? The, the barrel bait for the AWP specifically, and then after doing the barrel bait and not even taking the bait, they still flash and go. It's the little details there. They were all ready. And the, and the trade as well. I know it's we didn't get to see it from his perspective, but like make no mistake, the second orange is getting that perfect wall bang headshot into Dan King. It's, it's an art. He's done it very quickly there, Tessus, and muscle memory converting a very important frag onto Dan King. You can see he could have kicked up even more of a fuss there. But there's your 15th. This is weird. Like very likely now just yeah. to close this I one mean, out, isn't it? After that first half, 8-7 on the half, Chad. Yeah, this has just kind of felt like one-way traffic in the in the late stages of this because Heroic, with their game plan, I'm not sure if this would have been specific uh, against Tyloo. It must have been. 
but just to continue to pepper that arch side and force Tyloo to start playing more of these three-man leans, which is the traditional setup on the CT side of this map, right? It's, that's what you play, normally three and over then towards the, the uh, A side. After beating them up and securing the bag over on the A side with all of that and conditioning them to play an extra player, they isolate the two players on B. Yeah, it's naughty stuff. It is, and so it, could end, it could end right now. Peeking over the flames, it's Dan King. Wise to your tricks, Cadian, and a 300 calorie nade down the gullet. Somebody flashed in. Not enough, surely. But he still managed to snap into the head of Tessa. So we've got ourselves a 4v3 established now. And Surprise Down is choosing to opt for the AWP. Had the AK in his sights, but has opted for something different. It will enable him to passively control and get some degree of banana back. They've thrown out the same arch smokes here. So a library one lands, so does the CT arch. And that has been such a pressure point here. So it draws the attention over towards this A side as they trundle in towards B. Yeah. One man to defend. Isolating slowly this time. He's gonna have to think and communicate quickly. That is exactly what the doctor ordered. Three on the spray, and he saves them. It could have very well been the final round of the best of one. Slowly says no. He's been the quietest out of the Tai Lu mob here today, so great for him in a pressure moment to step up with a multi kill like that. You have to be happy with this. You can see it again in the replay here. Just steps on out, 25 bullets of pain. Frames on down, and they all just get mopped on up. Now, Heroic. They thought they were just going to be able to sail across the finish line here. You have to take a bit of a timeout and just talk this one through. You don't want to fumble in the late stages. You're going to have a few more opportunities to do so. Convert this map. Sweep it away. Let's continue forward for the day. We do have four, well, with eight more best of ones after this concludes. This is just the first round of the Swiss. In the next, you'll have the winners versus the winners and the losers versus the losers. So uh, one more set of best of ones to come your way today. And of course, chopping and changing the casters. We are chock a block full of talent for the PGL Major Stockholm. Going to be seeing Seder Kiss to Moses over on this one, I believe. I'm not sure who's on where, but I, you're probably right. Yeah, just because I saw Sado checking out the, the oh, AC in right, here. Yes, it is a bit chilly. Out of control, Kadian in the flames. Melts on down a bit, but gets his own off to hold them at bay. A risk pushing through that smoke. We need to give up an early casualty here. The rally of nades back and forth. Not really doing too much damage whatsoever here. Is happy to take their time with this. Banking could find another opener. First on B now. Deciding to reinforce the A site. That Molly's got his name on it. He could still peak Boiler, though, with it up. So desperate not to swallow the flash. He knows Heroic, they're diligent individuals. He will unlikely to get that first frag. So good to see the awareness. The bomb scooped up now. We've just got under one minute left on the clock right here. Boiler and top mid is a threatening position for Heroic, but over towards B is where they turn their attention. That's a one-way, and that's a flash. This is a perfect combo. Slowly pushing in to punish, and a little late on the trade. Shush does get it. They're going again. They're pushing again. Gap secured, though. If Shush even thinks about walking around that corner, he's a dead man. Just like that, somebody collects. The smoke baiting him in, lulling him into the false sense of security. And with 25 seconds left, Chad Heroic are the ones up the creek. Desperate for a paddle. Oh, attacker, that's not that's not bad. He throws the smoke deep into the pit to try and evade the Molotov, but still spotted out. Kadian gets the info. It's all about Danking now. Deals with the first up short time sensitive. He doesn't go down. Oh, Attack he does. Too. They both fall in quick succession and suddenly Heroic pull it out of nowhere. Oh, Summer, oh. look, it's a clutch. And